The state attorney general's office is leading a homicide investigation after an inmate died overnight at the Oahu Community Correctional Center. As KITV 4's Ali Duclo reports, sources close to the investigation identified the inmate as 36-year-old Christopher Vaifunga. Sources say the inmate was found unconscious in his cell in Module 13 here at Old Triple C with extensive injuries to his face. Old Triple C is just overcrowded. Right. And so uh, you're creating an environment where a predator is going to prey on prey. Right. And um, the violence happens. We're told at around 830 Thursday night, someone told guards via Fuga may be in danger. By then, officers had already completed a headcount check. But when they returned to Viafaga's cell, he was found unconscious. Honolulu police say Viafaga may have been assaulted by two other male inmates, but no arrests have been made so far. Legal expert Ken Lawson suggests nonviolent and violent offenders be segregated at OCCC to ease tensions between inmates. You have gang activity. Right. Um, because there, there's power in numbers. And so you have gang activity. Everybody's fighting for control. The public defender representing Viafaga for his impending trial says his client did not express any concerns over his safety. Viafaga was arrested and charged after allegedly assaulting a woman over the age of 60. The pretrial detainee was also convicted of a theft and assault this past February. Viafaga's death comes after another inmate was killed at OCCC three years ago. Uh, it would be interesting to know if any measurements since then had been in place to try to prevent what happened yesterday. PSD can't comment further because the investigation into the incident is ongoing. Aali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.